Absolutely, there is. Um, obviously, the pins I designed in there would have to be keyed. And uh, I just pulled a straight pin out of the catalog. We do have a catalog with a um, with kind of a, a flat on the side. But what we ran into is a lot of shops do it differently. So, I mean, if you want the, the flat-sided catalog, I can give it. If you have a special key or something, what that falls into is creating your own catalog parts so with a special cut. It's really simple to do, and I have a webinar that's recorded on the support site for showing just how to do something like that. Um, another question that's coming up is, what is the overall file size of, of the project? Any tips for when performance suffers on large projects? Mm. A few tips. First of all, the part size that we were dealing with here was about 10 meg. And when all is said and done, the assembly is maybe 30 meg. I mean, it really was a demo, so we could get through a lot of steps quickly. Uh, we have customers doing molds that are absolutely gigantic in automotive industries and others. And the best thing you can do for yourself are A, have a good PC with a ton of RAM in it. B, um, we have a 64-bit version of Synertron now. And a 64-bit version of the product will access that RAM that you've purchased, whereas the 32-bit, of course, has a limitation from Microsoft built in. Um, that's really helping, because big jobs are heavy. And there's just no two ways around it. Um, but the Symmetron is now available in 64-bit, and we can really use almost all the RAM you, you're willing to purchase. And I think, uh, I think the other thing to note, too, is as you're working on the mold and you activate uh, you know, the ejector system or, or just the component, you're just loading that component into, the, you know, into RAM. So you're not, using the whole, you're not loading the whole mold every time as you activate you know, different components and stuff like that. So with the way we break it up in the assembly with sub-assemblies and then uh, your different parts, you don't have everything loaded right up into RAM. So another question is, how long did, it, uh, did the part change take to calculate? Oh, huh. well. I saw a peak of it. If we want to go back, what I think I need to do is, then, is I need to reassign some parting attributes because I was trying to update parting here, and I see it's not looking so good. Um, regeneration is the fact of life in an associative CAD system. What I probably should do instead of parting is at least try to do this update. But again, I may have to go into quick split. The question is, how long is it going to take? And it takes anywhere from two minutes to, I don't know, 10 minutes. I alluded to two options in the ECO. And really, this is something that we'll be talking about as the version 10 gets out into the, the populace. The second method updates not by going into the parting file, but going directly to cores and cavities. It's a couple steps, but it avoids regeneration, period. And I think this is what a lot of people are going to be using, especially in the complicated molds, the ones that are done uh, more than this. I mean, you assign them right into the cavities. It knows which ones to delete and which ones to add. Regeneration is zero. You know, some, some may look at it as, well, you're skirting the associativity aspect of the system. But that's why there's a choice. I mean, associativity is great when it's quick. When it's not quick, people aren't real fond of it. So. Symmetron offers a choice. Um, another question is, um, the, are all the components you added today standard items with the product, or are they uh, add-ons that you have to purchase? Everything all that we've seen, to, well, that's your question, Ralph, isn't it? Yeah. All of those catalogs are standard uh, with the mold design. Um, they're constantly being updated all the time, and uh, they're all included. Uh, the, all of the catalog components and all of the cutting objects are part of the catalog component. Um, let's see, some of the other questions uh, about uh, 
templates and title blocks for the drafting. We'll address those through support. Um, let's see. Uh, continue trying to work with an STL file. Yeah, we can do a mold design in an STL file. You, you're able to bring in the STL file, and you're able to bring in all of the um, uh, design uh, all solids and surfaces around that. Um, we don't have uh, many tools for um, repairing the STL. Um, right. But uh, yeah, if you if you have a scan model that you have to reproduce a mold, we can bring that uh, that scan in. We do have a reverse engineering product that um, you know you can take and um, create your own STL or create surfaces. Uh, that's another product if you get into um, you know scanning uh, parts. Um, Couple more questions. Uh, let's see. Um, the mirrored parts. Um, There's one out there for a moment, Ralph. Uh, what? Do you have a webinar or tutorial available on making templates and title blocks? The answer to that is uh, I think so. Uh, there is help in tutorials in the system right up here at the top of the screen if you use the help menu. Um, the support staff works hard and makes a webinar every month on different things. And before the webinar ends, I'd like to mention our number, which is 877-596-9700. If it's something like creating a title block, I can help you do that in a couple minutes on the phone. It's not something that I have to make a, a tutorial for. So give us a call. That's what we're here for. Go ahead, Ralph. Um, there's another question about conformal cooling. If I understand that correctly, that's where the uh, cooling channel follows the part. Mm. Um, I don't think we have any automated tools for that. Uh, a couple of things that we can do is we can take and um, section the part and then offset the section down, let's say, a half inch and put a drive a pipe command through that, that will enable you to put um, a cooling channel that way. Um, nothing automatic for that. Um, and I think that's about it for the questions. There's one question about the 64-bit version I see. Um, if you have a question on that, again, I'd like you to call the tech support. It is available. We don't have a DVD that we've printed. Uh, I've got many customers running it, and I'd be happy to hook you up with it. The uh, <clears throat> one other question is: um, This uh, somebody's asking that they uh, got pulled away and missed part of the webinar. It will be recorded, or it is recorded, and it will be available. And uh, if you signed up and registered, we will send an announcement that the uh, um, video is available. So I think we're all set. I agree. Nope. Nope. No more questions. I'd like to thank everybody for taking uh, time this afternoon to uh, watch the webinar. Uh, again, um, um, if you have any further questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to contact us. Um, we're on the web, symmetrontech.com. And again, thank you, everybody, for taking your time.